Let's talk Love Island. Winter Love Island. Now look, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I just skip the winter one. I much prefer the summer one. If the weather stays like this, I'm gonna be inside a lot anyways. We could just be subjected to lots of uh, lots of Love Island this year. I don't know, I think, I feel like doing it twice a year just kills a bit of the buzz for when the main one comes around. But hey look, if it makes money, it makes sense. We're here to look at a few of the contestants. I would react to like the intro video, but last time I did that, ITV themselves decided to copyright strike me and, and take me down. So I can't do that, but I did watch it just now and I'll just give you my thoughts. This might be the most normal, at least intro video we've ever seen for Love Islanders. Usually it comes with a real cheesy, I mean, it still was cheesy, but like overly cheesy. They come with like this weird, super arrogant energy and it really doesn't seem like that this time. I don't know whether they purposely made a change to it to make it. everyone just seem a bit more likable in the intro. I don't know. It was also a reason why a lot of people watched is because they knew that there were some really strong characters and I didn't really get that in the intro. Everyone just seemed a bit normal and a bit nice. It was very minimal cringe, which was highly disappointing. Let's go through a few of them and I'll give you my thoughts on them. All right, so the first person here, we have Anna Mae Roby. According to this, she's a 20 year old payroll administrator from Swansea. She decided to sign up to Love Island because she's looking for a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want to find someone that makes me laugh. I've been single for quite a while. My mum is bugging me. She's like, you need to find a boyfriend. I'm just excited to try something new. And I think going on Love Island is a good way to meet someone. So is going out on a night out, someone's going on a date. I'm not too sure Love Island is everyone's go-to, but she's made it on. She seemed a little bit, how can I say this nicely? Slow. Can you say that? Everything just felt like it was in slow motion when she was talking, which is fine. I'm sure she's probably very nice. Judging from her Instagram, which from what I've heard, all the Love Islanders will be going private this year, which is gonna be really interesting because it means that these people aren't gonna come out with these mega Instagram followings that they can then convert into uh, becoming an influence. I feel like it will just shorten their the time span in which they can make money after the villa. And I'll be interested to see that, but it also does mean that people might stop going on Love Island for the benefits afterwards and they'll genuinely be going on Love Island for the reason that Love Island was created. Um, and so you might get a lot more regular people on there. But judging from this, I mean, 18.8K followers, maybe she was already an influencer beforehand but if i'm honest with you there's nothing here that you wouldn't expect on a love island contestant next up we have harris namani now harris namani is a 21 year old salesman from doncaster and says that he has never found the one but is hoping that is all about to change he also revealed that anyone who wants to be in his life will also have to get along with his mom and his dad and sisters and brother surely that's a given right if you're ever going to date someone it's pretty expected that you'd hope that they get along with the family i don't think that's a bombshell by any means when he was asked what kind of boyfriend would he be? He says, I'm different. I'm a unique guy. The way I act, confident, not awkward, especially with girls. I'm friendly. I'm very respectful as well. He was saying he's a unique guy. I mean, I guess, I mean, nothing he said there is drastically unique. He said he's confident, especially with the girls. I mean, if you're on Love Island, I would imagine that you're relatively confident in the first place. Seemed pretty regular. Seemed like a nice guy. This is what I'm saying. This is a very much a nice cast, which often means like, you know how like, on, the, on the outside, people seem to be really nice, but they're actually like backstabbing little fuckers. That could be this series. There is still hope. Judging by his Instagram, obviously jawline from the heavens, right? But he's also a boxer, which is obviously really impressive. We previously had a boxer on Love Island before, Tommy Fury, things are going well for him. Maybe he, this guy will meet his Molly May on the show. Next up, we got Kai Fagan. Now this guy I actually really liked in the intro thing. I think he was a teacher, yeah. Although PE teacher, I, I won't go into the stereotype. I actually really liked this guy in the intro. Seemed really nice, seemed really friendly. So he's a PE teacher and a rugby player. There's a lot of stereotyping going on with those two things combined. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about this guy other than that he just seemed like really nice. Maybe he'll end up just being one of those like classic rugby lads and we'll all end up hating him, but I'm optimistic. Next up, Lana Jenkins. Like, okay, so there was one bit in the intro where she's going on about how she's got a cowboy tattoo and then it's on the back of her arm, so it must mean she likes reverse cowgirl. I mean, I just thought, yeah, she's reaching there. She's clearly just got this tattoo. She, she was drunk or she's got it. She's like, I need to be a little bit quirky. I'm gonna get my first tattoo, got a cowboy hat and she's just come up with this bullshit story. Besides that, she seemed cool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I watched the intro video and I was there like, there's really not enough for me to talk about here because there was no super cringe moments in it. It was just a whole lot of nothing. See how she gets on. Olivia Hawk uh, 
uh, actually granddaughter of Stephen Hawking. Just a little fun fact in case you guys didn't know. Uh, she's a 27 year old ring girl, an actress from Brighton. She's been a body double for Emma Watson and Michelle Keegan. But now she wants to be her own star on Love Island, fair enough. As for now, the right time to head into the villa. Okay, well, first of all, it's not like she got to choose at what time would be the right time. It's not like she got accepted and she's like, actually, I'm gonna do next year's instead. If you get accepted, you go on. Otherwise, you probably miss the boat. So she said, I'm 27. I've never been in a relationship. So I feel like now I'm ready to settle down and hopefully find the love of my life. Sometimes I think these are just given default statement because this just seems so generic everyone is just ready to settle down and hopefully find the love of my i mean yeah all right but realistically these guys probably didn't know about the fact their instagram had to be private i'd have loved to be in the room when they all got told that their instagrams had to be private they just saw the money leave themselves so maybe they're not going to care as much anymore next up ron hall this guy was probably the most confident guy there beautiful hairline the guy's a good looking guy athletic he's probably in with a good chance here the girls are really gonna like this guy, I think. And he says, I'm the most genuine person you'll meet. I'm one of those guys that if someone introduces themselves and one of the first things they says is, you know, I'm very, you know, genuine, I'm real. That's usually a sign that they aren't. If someone needs to tell you that they're rich and you didn't already like know or you didn't get that vibe, then chances are they're probably not rich. That's the same sort of vibe that I get. I have a feeling this guy is gonna cause some upsets in the villa and I'm here for it. Now, Shaq, really good energy. You know where someone just gives you a good energy off the bat? That is the vibe that I got. And you know what the best thing about me doing these videos is? I can watch it back at the end and be like, I was so wrong about this person. But this guy, his account was already private. So I don't know whether he has already started. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to see his account. He only has 905 followers. This might not even be his account. We're not 100% sure, but they have been told to put their accounts on private. So it also could be him as well. But yeah, I just didn't get a chance to see it. So I can't say too much, but yeah, in terms of the intro bit, good vibes and I hope he does well. It turns out that he is a 24 year old uh, airport security officer in London. I always got beef with those people, man. They're always like shouting at me as I'm putting my bag to go through the, the x-ray. He's hoping to come out with his future wife. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the odds are very much not in your favor, sir. There is very few people that come out of Love Island and get married. Or if they do, they do it. They collect their bag from all the magazines and then about a year later, they're divorced anyway. Tanya Manhaga, Manhenga, 22-year-old uh, Tanya is a biomedical science student and influencer. I want them to stop getting influencer people on. It just feels like not a cheat code, but you're already looking at someone that's very comfortable on camera. And I suppose that can be good for the show, but at the same time, it's like, I want real natural people. She did seem really nice in the intro though. I think maybe someone else is a influencer. I think there's a couple influencers on here. I would just like to not see that. And I'm hoping that when, now that they've like done the private Instagram stuff, we're gonna see less and less influencer people jump on this thing just to boost their career. Seem pretty sound. Good vibes in the intro. Next up, we got Tanyel. Up there, probably the most confident or out there girl in the intros as well. I feel like people with this sort of uh, personality, they go on the show and they absolutely fly and they do really well, or it just goes down like a lead balloon. She is someone that we will remember from this series, right? I can just tell, unless she gets voted out in like the first couple episodes. But for the most part, that's how I think she's gonna go. Good luck to her. Will Young. Now, I've seen this this guy before because this is farmer will off of tiktok i actually really like this guy and he was right in the intro this guy ticks so many boxes for girls i think he should clean up as long as he doesn't end up like on a hugo vibe which i don't think he will he doesn't give me that vibe if you're a good looking farmer i think it's a piece of cake for this guy i think this guy's gonna have a good time this is another influencer that's come in not really real and i think that's why he came across so well in the intro he's obviously used to being on camera and he's not shy of it he's not shy of being himself he does that he always puts himself on camera he's already starting a few steps ahead of a lot of the other people so take that into account now we're not too sure why but there have been two people that have been added but they weren't in the intro video their names are ellie spence and tom claire yeah i think they're on this i don't know whether they were late additions or something had happened i'm not really too sure but ellie spence 25 business development executive yeah she says i've been single for three years and the roster is pretty dry look she could be talking about the love island roster this here. tom claire guy he looks identical to someone from a previous season but i can't get it in my head and i feel like every season they have like it's either like a semi-pro baller a footballer that just hasn't quite made it yet he's a football player they always have a certain level of confidence about them right guys i'll see you all next time Later.